In this video, we'll write the electron configurations for titanium and then its ions, Ti2+, 3+, and 4+. So we'll start by writing the electron configuration for titanium, and then we'll remove some electrons to give us these ions here. On the periodic table, we look up titanium. Its atomic number is 22. That means it has 22 protons. And because it's neutral, it doesn't have a plus charge up here like these ions. Because it's neutral, protons equal electrons. We have 22 electrons to write the electron configuration for titanium. We'll use this periodic table here broken up into these orbital blocks. You can also use this chart up here. There's a link in the description that explains how to do that. This is a better way to do it though. So let's, let's do it this way. So we start with 1s, and s orbitals can hold up to 2. We have 1s1, 1s2, so we've used two electrons. Then we go to the 2s, 2s1, 2s2, over to the 2p orbital, and the p orbital can hold up to six electrons. So we'll put six in there. We've used 10 electrons. We have a total of 22. So 2p, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and we've used a total of 20 electrons. So we have two more. 3d, d can hold up to 10, but we don't need 10. We only need two more. So we're just going to put two in the 3d orbital. And this is the electron configuration for titanium. Neutral titanium is found on the periodic table. You often see that the 4s is put after the 3d when people write the notation. That's because the 4s, when it forms ions, these are the ones that are going to be lost to give it the positive charge, to make the positive ions. So this is another way to write it. Both of them give you the correct orbitals. It's just the order is a little different. So we have titanium, but let's write this in a condensed format. So on the periodic table, titanium is the 3D2, 4S2. So we find 4S1, 4S2, and then 3D1, 3D2. So that's where we find titanium. We'll go back to the noble gas that comes before titanium. That's argon right here. So we have argon there. We write AR. We put brackets around it. Then we write what comes after the argon, which is 4S1, 4S2, and then 3D1, 3D2. We said we we're going to put the 4S2 after the 3D, so let's do that. And then we'll use this notation here to write the electron configurations for the ions of titanium. So this is the neutral titanium. When we lose these two electrons, that gives us the positive charge. So we've lost two electrons, so we're just going to get rid of these two electrons here. And that gives us this electron configuration here for titanium, two plus. For the three plus, we'll start out with this here, and we need to lose three electrons. So we lose these two here. Instead of two here, we'll just have a one. That's titanium three plus. For the four plus, you can imagine what happens. We'll lose all four of these electrons here. Sometimes you'll see it written like this, though. Instead of the numbers here, They'll write zeros. That's okay too. Either way, these are the electron configurations for titanium and its ions, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.